Hey, how's it going? My name is Richie086, and I'll, today I'll be showing you how to use the tool uh, named uh, LandMap2 in Backtrack 5. Basically what LandMap2 does is it allows you to generate a graphical image that shows all of the devices on your network, um, and it'll show each device uh, via, it'll show an icon like a penguin for Linux, a uh, little Windows logo for Windows, uh, Mac machines I think show up as an Apple. Different devices will have different icons, uh, and basically it, it just generates a actual uh, graphical image of your internal network or uh, local area network. So um, uh, the program I have open right here is called uh, VirtualBox, and what VirtualBox does is it allows you to virtually run uh, any operating system. Uh, in, you know any version of Linux, FreeBSD, uh, any other version of Windows, um, even OS X if uh, you do a little bit of uh, modification of uh, some of the files, but it actually will allow you to run OS X. Anyways, so uh, as you see here, I have a couple different virtual machines already installed. I'm going to go ahead and start my Backtrack Linux install by double clicking on it. And it's starting up. Just a little note for uh, anyone who's new at using uh, VirtualBox. If you want to um, get a larger screen size, uh, or at least bigger than 640 by uh, 480 or whatever the default screen size is, you have to install the um, uh, VirtualBox uh, tools add-on. And that's a uh, it's pretty simple to do. Or the guest editions, that's what it's called. So you go to devices, install guest editions, and that would install that package once you're already in Linux. Anyways, it's not part of this tutorial. So I'm going to log in. And right now I am logged in as root at the terminal. Uh, but what I want to do is, because what most people are probably familiar with is the graphical interface in uh, Backtrack. So I'm going to type start x to start that. It'll start up GNOME, which is the graphical interface. Okay. So in uh, Backtrack, um, how most people, I would assume, would be accessing LandMap and not un really understanding how it works is probably through applications. Uh, go to Backtrack information gathering, network analysis, and network scanners. Go down to land map 2, click on it, and it's automatically going to start up your um, it's going to start up your uh, a session basically assuming that you are using your um, your first ethernet port as your connection. Uh, to the to the, you know the rest of your network. So as you can see, it's already starting to collect some data, just to make sure that it actually gets all of the data that uh, you know for at least a couple packets from each machine on my network. So when it generates the map, it shows all of the devices. Um, I'm going to open up a tab and use the command nmap, which is a network scanning tool. And uh, the arguments I'm going to give nmap are going to be dash vv, which means be very verbose or give me as much information as output as you can, dash uppercase A, which means do all scans, and then I'm going to tell it to scan my local network, which is 192.168.1.star. Hit enter, and as you can see, it's scanning stuff, and don't be too alarmed if uh, you notice a bunch of open ports on your local network, because that is pretty common to see a bunch of open ports on your local network. You should have a good firewall, though, uh, you know, protecting between all of these computers and the internet that is actually going to be stopping any malicious traffic to any of these ports. So while that's running, go back over here. As you can see, this is still capturing data. And all of this data basically is what it uses to actually generate the actual graphical image map of, of your network. So as soon as nmap is done, which should be done in a sec, back here
as you can see, it says I have uh, seven hosts on my network, which sounds about right because I have I have uh, various computers and whatnot on my network: uh, Linux, Mac, everything else. And that's still going. Still capturing data. So after this is uh, all done running, basically what we're going to do is run uh, a script that's actually going to take this output and put it into some kind of usable format that generates the actual you know, the image of your network. And let's go back over here. It's still going. Come on. Now, while this is running, kind of just waiting for everything to finish, um, I would like to mention if you are new to Backtrack, um, I would personally recommend setting it up in a virtual machine or if you have an extra computer or laptop uh, lying around, go ahead and run it on that. Um, but I would not recommend, especially if you're kind of new to Linux, using this as your primary operating system or your primary you know, distribution for day-to-day -day use. It's really good at all the hacking tools and you know security utilities but it's not so good at being a regular day-to-day -day, like use uh, distribution I would go with you know Ubuntu FreeBSD uh, Fedora you know whatever whatever you're comfortable with and c try to stick with something and you know learn the ropes and then and then uh, you might be able to improve some of your skills with backtrack because a lot of these tools in backtrack are not for the uh, uh, total noobs basically so Come on. As you can see, that's still capturing data. It's almost done. And there's another little tip in Nmap. If you hit enter, oh, well, it's done. If you hit enter uh, while it's running, it'll actually show you an update as to where it is in the progress of the scan. So now that that is done, uh, what we want to do is come over here and this is the window that we had uh, land map running in so uh, to cancel uh, a capturing data you're gonna hold down control and Z as in zebra it's not working uh, I guess control C works so um, now if we take a look at the readme file basically what it suggests is um, that's the command to start capturing that's actually what it runs uh, and it's assuming you're running it as root now it says to generate a graph after letting the capture run for a while run this command copy and I'm going to quit and this is another one if you are new to Linux uh, you can paste something that is copied into the clipboard if you have a mouse with a middle mouse button just press the middle mouse button and it'll paste it it's kinda cool so the command is CD graph so there's a folder in here called graph and then it's telling it to basically run a, um, a, a shell script inside of the graph folder and create the graph for us. So what that's doing right there is taking all of the data from the the network uh, scan that I generated using Nmap as well as the data collected by uh, Landmap2 to generate a an actual image of um, actual image of my network. So what I'm going to do now is go to places up here, go to computer and as you can see pen test enumeration land map 2 so I'm gonna go file system pen test enumeration land map 2 and now inside of the, is it the graph folder yes inside of the graph folder uh, you will see a image called net.png which is the output and here you go so um, this is a basic map of my network. Uh, here's my network attached storage. Um, 
here's uh, the computer I'm actually using to run Nmap. Uh, as you can see, all the arrows are kind of pointing to uh, my computer because it was the source of all of the traffic that it captured. And um, these arrows represent either a one uh, a one way conversation between the two computers, or a um, uh, obviously a two way uh, uh, connection between the two computers. Um, now, uh, if you happen to know PHP at all, um, obviously this might not be the uh, ideal uh, map of your network. So, if you know PHP at all. All you have to do is uh, go into the graph directory. So let's go back to the land map directory. If you see the directory graph, do a directory listing. And if we look at the contents of gengraph.php, um, basically, uh, yeah, you just have to know a little bit of the PHP code. But um, this is the actual the actual code that um, generates that graph. So, as you can see, apply mapping to address, uh, um, how to uh, label things inside and outside of the cloud, as you can see down here. Oh, where'd it go? Outside cloud. And draw nodes. So, you know, if you really if you really want to get crazy with it, you can go in there and try to figure out what the code's doing. It doesn't look too complicated as long as you know uh, a little bit of programming. Definitely it helps to know a little bit of PHP. Um, yeah, but that's basically the file that actually generates the eventual map. So, um, hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial on how to use LandMap 2. Alright, bye.